Hi, and welcome to this Excel quickie. Here we're going to talk about division. Did you know that all division is not created equal in Excel VBA? Because it's not. So you better be careful which slash you are using. So at the moment, I'm building a really big VBA course for you guys. And one of the things that I covered recently is division in VBA. So I wanted to show you guys this interesting thing I thought you might not know about. When you're in the worksheet, it's very simple, right? Equals 10 divided by 5. No problem. And if you tried it any other way, like this, it wouldn't work. Hit the Enter key. Error! It's not going to work. So you may just assume that you can always only ever divide using the forward slash instead of the backslash, and that can carry over into VBA, but that is not the case. So go to the VBA window, Alt F11, insert a module, insert module. Here we are already in module one. Sub, let's call this one division me crazy. Let's do a regular division here. And you guys are in luck because this week, even though I don't normally do it, I'm going to include this file for download for this Excel quickie. So let's do a normal division here, okay? Let's call it division normal. Okay, create a little variable, division regular equals 11 divided by three. And let's get some nice visual output for that. I'm sure you can imagine it will be three something, probably close to four, right? 11 divided by three. Three, six, 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 eventually rounded to seven. Perfect, exactly what you would imagine. <laughs> now, let's do what they call integer division. Division integer one. I'm gonna show you a couple different examples of this. Let's do the same thing we just did but let's mistakenly put the wrong slash in there. And let's give it a little output. Division integer one. So we have the regular one that'll show up first and the integer division. Three, six, six rounded. And the next one is just three. All right, well, so now you see there are two different types of division that you can do here. This is the regular one using the forward slash. No explanation needed. This is the sneaky guy that if you or someone else, God forbid, accidentally puts the wrong slash in there, it could take you forever to debug your code and figure out what the heck's going on. Integer division does two very interesting things. After the division, if there is a decimal left over, like with this one, where it equaled three, 666 six, six eventually rounded to seven, integer division will just return what was in front of the decimal. So it will cut off all of this. It will truncate it, that's what it's called. And let's make a couple more examples down here to show you the other thing that it will do. It will also round the numbers before the division. So what is this? it will round 11.5 up to 12 before division. So this will output four. So let's do that. I will comment out this guy. Make sure we change this to two. Run it. And we get four because 11.5 divided by three is four, right? That's exactly what you expected. <laughs> All right, let's do the last one number three and let's do a little bit different this time nine divided by 3.4 you should know what this is going to be right now because you know the two rules before division occurs the numbers will be rounded after division occurs any decimals will be removed all right we round three since it's under five it'll go down to three nine divided by three is three Test it, and we get three. So nice, isn't that? Be careful with your division sign. Always use the forward slash for your regular division. And before I go, I'm going to show you what 
the downloaded file will be like. So I'm going to replace all of this. I have tons of comments in the downloaded file, which should make it a little bit easier for you to understand this when you download the file and you're looking at the code, so you don't always have to keep coming back to the video tutorial. And like I said, this is part of the larger VBA course that I'm currently building, so I hope you'll stick around for that as well.